welcome to my home. I'm here with my friend Lisa. Hello, thank you so much for having me. I love being here today. Thank you for agreeing to do this with me. Um, today we're going to be talking about holiday gift giving and um, I'd like to go through some of the stuff we have here on the table. Mm -hmm. um, this whole idea came about um, as a way to share what I do with my siblings um, during the holidays. About five years ago, we decided to give each other gifts and to make them homemade. And so um, here we have some of the gifts that I've done over the years. And I actually asked them to bring me the gifts at Thanksgiving, um, the ones that we had done over the years, just so I would have a sampling to share today. So let's kind of go great. through these. Um, we're going to start with this bowl. Mm -hmm. This is a bowl that um, I made for my sister Kelly a few years ago. And um, I did this at Lulu's mm -hmm. right in Clarkston on Dixie Highway okay. in Old Pond, I think is the name of the okay, road there. Yep. Um, and uh, what was nice about this is I could go in and there's so many different options. Okay. And I chose this. She actually uses this as a fruit bowl. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm not super artistic. So I just kind of did little That's cute. patterns. And all the bright colors. Yeah. 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 Kind of fun. Mm -hmm. um, the same year I think I did for my brother mm -hmm. um, a mug um, or maybe for my mom. Mm -hmm. It was a mug that I decorated. So. I have a question. So if you go into Lulu's and you were to do this bowl, could you get this like the same day? You know, actually you can do the project that day and then it usually takes a few days or a week for them okay. to fire it. Um, gotcha. And yeah. then you would pick it up after that. Yeah. And okay. what's really funny is I didn't know this until I started doing um, painting. These colors actually are totally different when you're painting. Mm. And then when you fire it, you get this, when you pick it up, mm. they all pop. Cool. So they're real muted. So it's like a surprise. It's like a surprise. Very neat. Um, I was also wondering, do they have things, you said you did a mug. Mm -hmm. uh, what else do they have? Do they have plates oh, or? They have everything. Everything. Everything okay. for kids, adults, mm -hmm. things that you can use, things that are decorative. Um, so lots of options. Okay. The other location um, that you can do a project like this would mm -hmm. be um, the Painted Pot in Rochester. In Rochester, yep. So, okay, I've seen that. And I've done that with some moms. Mm -hmm. We've gone and, you know, had wine and cheese and what have you, and then mm -hmm. we decorate and have fun at the Cute. same time. So, yeah. I saw a platter when I was in Florida one time where it was a ceramic platter at a place where you mm -hmm. paint your own, and all they did were polka dots all over the platter. Oh, nice. So it was really easy to do. You don't have to be super artistic. <laughs> and you just, one of them had hot pink polka dots, one had nice. turquoise polka dots, and another one had black ones. So sure. I thought how easy. Everyone can do polka dots. Everyone can do polka dots. And That's it was nice. easy and it was homemade and they were very cute. Yeah, so. very cool. Yeah. So here's some other options that we have actually. Um, this is an ornament that my sister Kelly made. And apparently, I guess the way you do this is you just put paint in here. So, Very cute. And uh, I yeah. notice blue and gold. Yes. She was for for Michigan. Yep. yep. Our alma mater. Okay. So very cool. And you could do green and white if you went to state. <laughs> you right. You can customize it however you want, or like brown and black if you go to Western. Right. So you have options. Or, you know, any other multitude of combinations, exactly. right? Green and red. Um, and then here's one that my sister Stephanie made. Cute. Um, my nickname Lucy again, and um, it's an ornament. Cute. So she, uh, she she whipped it up, which I'm sure was like a no-brainer for her. This would probably be a challenge for me. That's very cute. So, yep. And then um, this actually is a shadow box. And what's kind of cool about this one is I did not make the actual shadow box, but I bought this shadow box. I believe it was at Marshalls. Um, you know, Marshalls mm -hmm. are everywhere. Mm -hmm. And um, it didn't have the customizing on it, and it was empty. So my sister's nickname is Stefanuski and Hogan. Those are her nicknames. Very cute. And I actually used this handy dandy wood burner. Oh my goodness. That I borrowed from my friend Kathy. That's cute. And um, it has lots of different little attachments mm -hmm. to make different shapes and stuff, um, different size uh, for the actual for the wood fonts burning. And mm -hmm. yeah. Did you just do that freehand then, or did, did you stencil? Freehand? I did. I Very actually cute. did it freehand. Hand, and then um, she brought it over at Thanksgiving so that mm -hmm. I could show it today and then she filled it it actually opens up she filled it with different pictures of my sisters and I and her children um, and that are her children and the siblings Cute. so I, I really I love this and again this was really inexpensive to buy um, I think it was like $16.99 which mm -hmm. is so inexpensive and then I just customized it so Very nice. It's kind of so it looks like maybe you did something similar with this piece. I did. I Tell did. me about that. Sure. 
This is actually um, a piece I bought again at like Home Goods, I believe. And um, my daughter, who is a gymnast, mm -hmm. I actually just customized it um, and put, you know, level 10, her name, Emma Kate, um, some of her nicknames, and some inspirational words. And again, that was with the wood burner. So I'm sure this was probably no more than 10 bucks, mm -hmm. and then I um, customized it. That's great. And then I was thinking on these, um, these I actually had. And I thought you could customize these. You could write around the outside. Um, you could embellish in different places on the on the black. Mm -hmm. um, just again, really easy ways to uh, to make it special. And especially for teenagers, because mm -hmm. sometimes they're difficult to buy for, yes. and everybody loves something that has their name on it and is mm -hmm. specific and personal to them. Yeah. That's really neat. Definitely. So those are kind of some of the the different um, things that I've done with my siblings. And then this is actually one that my brother did for me. Um, he uh, he painted Cute. it. So again, probably a place like yeah. Lulu's or Painted Pot. Um, mm -hmm. He lives in Union Lake, um, White Lake area, so mm -hmm. I'm not sure what place he went to, but um, it's just kind of neat. And it shows that my um, super macho brother uh, could whip this yeah, up, and really I love cute. it. I'm just, I'm and really... again, your Michigan thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And then um, you might want to show that uh, blown glass piece, actually. This is um, a piece that I did last mm -hmm. year, and I actually have it on my own tree. It's um, doing blown glass, That's great. which was an experience that and I... And where did you do that? Uh, it's a little shop in uh, what used to be downtown Union Lake, okay. uh, where White Lake and West Bloomfield and Waterford mm -hmm. come together. Mm -hmm. And um, this was a lot of fun. So my sisters and my mom and I did this before the holidays. That's very cute. So just another little, little tool, a little something. So so what did you do this year? Have you done anything else this year for making homemade gifts for the holidays? I have not. I mean, well, I, I don't have the gifts for my siblings, but okay. I did make a few gifts for okay. friends, and oh. I thought I would share. Um, this year, I really got into essential oils. Mm -hmm. Young Living is the essential oil um, brand that a friend of mine introduced me to. Okay. And so, are you familiar with it? No, I'm not. Tell me more about that. Okay. No. Well, it's the use of oils um, therapeutically. Mm -hmm. um, people use them medicinally, but mm -hmm. for me, it's more um, stress and mm -hmm. relaxation. And what this is, this is actually coconut oil mixed with something called Peace and Calm, which is a blend. You can kind of check that out. Mmm. It smells really good. Doesn't it smell good? Yeah. And basically, it's just a lotion that you can put on. Uh -huh. And I thought, you know, I put a little heart, I put a little label on it. Mm -hmm. And these are just ball jars okay. that I bought at Meyer. At Meyer, yep. And little labels okay. as well. And, and um, then coconut, you have your coconut oil too? Coconut oil from okay, Costco. Great. So, and then I just mixed it up. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to do this. Mm -hmm. You can add um, different oils with it to give mm -hmm. it different textures to make it real fluffy. Okay. Um, I'm just a novice at this, so this is kind of new to me. Okay. And then here's the peace and calm. Okay. Here's the oil. It's kind of my little essential oil kit. So did you get the oils from... Where, where did you get them from again? I actually ordered them. Uh -huh. I went, uh, a friend of mine did a little show at mm -hmm. her house mm -hmm. and a little intro with Young Living. Okay, Young and Living. And I purchased this little set here. Mm -hmm. And um, the last six months, my family and I have been kind of learning, playing around with it. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's really So can you tell great. a difference? Oh my gosh, totally. With your family? Totally. Really? They, What's an example? You know, um, we use something called Panaway. Okay. Um, I think is it, yeah, I think it's the Panaway. Uh -huh. And this is for stress relief, or it's it's actually for athletes. Oh, so a lot of kids doing nice. sports, yep. um, I mix it with oil and they do massages mm -hmm. like if they have an ache or a pain and mm -hmm. it's kind of a nice way to be connected to your kids. Can I smell? So yeah, you can check that one out. And then while you're checking that out, so I did some lavender as mm -hmm. well. Um, this little bottle, I added water, it's basically water mm. plus lavender and um, it's a spritz that I do. Um, you smell it? Mm, it smells I just great. Put it on my it's pillow. It's so relaxing. Yeah, and it's good for sleeping. Yep. So again, a nice little yep. can be a nice little gift, um, or just something that you do for yourself, which is always nice to do gifts for yourself. Very nice. So, um, so that's kind of those are the oils. Um, so these are kind of the gifts that you know you can actually see. Okay. The material gifts. Um, one more that I wanted to add is this. Uh, apron that my sister made. Oh, that's cute. And um, she's made me a couple different aprons, but you know, not super hard to make. A little rickrack, mm -hmm. um, little embellishments, and I love these. And I, you were asking me earlier, yeah, do I use them? Wear them, and we do. Yeah. Actually, my husband and I each had an apron on for Thanksgiving mm -hmm. that we had here. So, and it's just, it's so from her heart, and I know that she loves that that's I great. love them. So, 
I wear aprons too. I love to cook and we, I love to wear them. I think they're so funky and fun and I think this is great. This is a great gift. Yeah. I um, also have a suggestion for a gift that we did in our family. Yeah, do tell. And again, cooking related because that's kind of what we do. And um, we did a cookbook, a homemade cookbook, and oh. it was my mother-in-law's favorite recipes and my niece actually did it. Oh my gosh, And nice. she asked a bunch of us what our favorite recipes were and why. And then oh. we had a photo with it as well. Nice. So she started out with a picture of my mother and father-in-law on their wedding day, oh. and then put about 12 recipes along with a little story, oh along with a photo. And um, we love it. So it's from her spaghetti sauce, to her homemade bread, to what her shortbread cookies. Oh. And Do you all have copies of the book We too? do, oh. we do. She got us copies. Um, all of us have them and it's um, a, a great gift and my kids even will go up and reach for the family cookbook and nice. and make something from it so oh, and, and that's something that anyone can do it is it, it, they went know. online to an online site um, and they just uploaded the pictures and the recipes and then they were sent to us okay so well and you could probably do like a shutterfly if you wanted yes, to as well exactly you know you can do a, a shutterfly and really if you wanted to you probably could do it at Kinko's mm -hmm. and just type it up yourself and right. copy the photos and just um, nice. take it up to a Kinko's or an office max or something like that yeah. so that's great we love it it's it's really nice it's nice when so. you can have gifts that um, come with a story yep. you know and yeah. kind of has a little more significance yep. Hi, here we are in front of my chat board, and the question we have is, what's your favorite Christmas memory? This is actually a question that one of my children put on the board when I wasn't watching, and um, I put my favorite Christmas memory is when we're getting our tree each year. We go to the Candy Cane Christmas Tree Farm on Seymour Lake Road. Here are some other really great memories that my children have, making cookies, Christmas music, spending time with cousins. Uh, my daughter Emma's friends were over this week and they actually contributed some of their favorite memories. So hopefully if you're doing a chat board, you've considered some holiday options for your chat board. Thanks. So here we have another item. Um, this is a gift that my sister Stephanie made mm -hmm. for me a few years ago. She made she this? She made this. Wow. She and her husband Rick made this entire structure, this entire mirror okay. and Jewelry box. Oh my goodness. This Look great. at that. Isn't this neat? It's beautiful. Yeah, it's got my first name and wow. my middle name down here. Yep. Um, this is a gift she gave me, I think it was two years ago, and um, I, we have thanks or we have Christmas Eve here. Mm -hmm. And uh, they brought it in the house when I wasn't looking and actually set it up. So this That's is a beautiful. special gift. Very special. Have everything all organized and nice. Mm -hmm. And I can't believe they made this. It's so solid and heavy. Isn't it beautiful? It's beautiful. And what it's, they it's did. It's a piece of art. It is it's a really piece nice. of art. And I don't want to intimidate anyone because yes. this is certainly. This um, is high ambition. This is right? high yes. ambition. <laughs> but a very, very special gift. So I wanted to share it. And um, this is something that they made for me. And then they made these for the other women in our family as well. So nice. hopefully you'll feel inspired to tap into, mm -hmm. you know, what makes you happy and, and give a gift that really speaks from the heart. That's right. Um, so tell me about all these ideas here. Sure. What I really think is special um, are the gifts of presents, mm -hmm. being present with your loved ones mm -hmm. and trying to find gifts that um, speak to that individual. Mm -hmm. um, we were talking earlier, um, you and I, before we started, mm -hmm. a little bit about really trying to seek the perfect gift. Mm -hmm. And I think over the years, I, I really shop um, hard for gifts and, and trying to make sure that they fit the person. Yep. But now I'm more into finding experiences that mm -hmm. fit them, whether it's something they do on their own mm -hmm. or something I get to do with them. That's really fun. So it yeah. is fun. Yeah, you know? it's it, the gift of time and giving your time and, like you said, yes. your experience. Oh, and so it's, how it, special is that? It is special. Yeah. And actually, one of the gifts that um, my mom gave us this year, mm -hmm. um, and I helped her coordinate. She's taking um, 12 of us, all the women in our family, the girls mm -hmm. and the women, um, for a special trip on December 26th. Really? And so that's the experience of being together. Yeah, that's very um, nice. And everyone knows that something's happening, but they don't but know what know. it is. It's a yeah. surprise. It's a surprise. Oh, you'll have to let us know. I will, I will. Yeah. So it's something that I'm really passionate very about fun. and something that my mom yep. um, is as well. So we get to share it with everyone. Very nice. So Good. there's that. And then um, something else that I'm doing is my sister-in-law has two little ones, mm -hmm. and um, they're two and newborn, mm -hmm. and so we're actually doing um, a zoo pass for her, mm -hmm. which actually she'll probably see this before Christmas. Oh. But, um, you know, that's something that we can enjoy with her throughout the year. Yeah. Um, we all love going to the zoo. We do too. We love the zoo. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's a great experience. Kind of experience. And then some of the other ones I've got down oh, here. What else do you have? Let's um, see. 
a note with a message and a date okay. to get together during the year, maybe a favorite restaurant or an activity. Very nice. And I was thinking about Picasso's in downtown mm -hmm. Clarkston. I yep. haven't been there yet, but I know a lot of people have gone mm -hmm. there for um, birthdays and just mm -hmm. to get together in the evening, mm -hmm. and you get to make... And tell us again what Picasso's is, the paint painting place, it's right? It's the painting place mm -hmm. right on Main Street. Mm -hmm. I think it's been there for maybe six months. Okay. I think maybe in the summer they opened. Um, that would be a great activity. Mm -hmm. You could give someone a gift certificate mm -hmm. and do that with them. Mm -hmm. um, going to the theater. Um, it's kind of funny, in my family, um, my father-in-law just recently decided that he'd like to learn how to shoot a gun. Okay. And so our gift to him mm -hmm. is a gift certificate to the Accurate Range Very right nice. in Clarkston. That's good, so he can <laughs> practice, right? Yeah, <laughs> you know. new gun. Yeah, and yep. I think my husband will go with him nice. and, and also you know, practice. Yep. So it's kind of a nice little activity that they get to do together. Um, and then I have down golf. Yes, um, of course, right? Yeah. Always. That's know, a good one. And locally, mm -hmm. uh, the fountains, mm -hmm. um, Shepherd Tallow mm -hmm. um, can be a gift certificate, mm -hmm. and they could use it for golf. They could certainly use it for dinner. Yep. Um, and then we have several spas here in Clarkston. Yep. Uh, Avanti is close to us at yes. uh, Dixie and um, Daversburg Road. Yep. Um, but also, I think what Terry Terry King's yep. is another mm -hmm. one. I think Belle Visage and yeah, yeah. Belle Visage. Yep. And then I was thinking, like, just a shared walk and tea, mm -hmm. you know, maybe just pick a date mm -hmm. and put it in a card saying, you know, let's get together mm -hmm. for a walk and tea. Mm -hmm. And then a place like Brioni, yep. a lot of us go to Brioni for lunch or for tea in the morning. Yep. Um, and then I was thinking, what do you think of this? A shared mm -hmm. workout. Uh, that would be great, yes. <laughs> you know? my, my friend and I actually always go to yoga together. Uh -huh. And you don't get to chit chat, of course, during yoga. Right. But how great is it to go to yoga, put your mats next to each other, mm -hmm. and share a yoga workout? Yeah. And um, you feel great afterwards, and you still get to spend some time together. Mm -hmm. And it truly is a, a great gift yeah. of your time. And where do you do yoga? Well, we do Clarkson Hot Yoga. And we also have tried Twisted Root, which okay. is fabulous. They're both great places. And if we're feeling really ambitious, we'll go down to Birmingham to um, the Johnny Kest. I think it's okay. Center for Yoga. Or, uh -huh. And yeah. so we really enjoy that. That's and I was great. also thinking of Mary's, um, Mary Lavasco, who yes. also does the show mm -hmm. with us. Um, she has a, a workout center, and mm -hmm. actually I work out there, which is kind of fun, and mm -hmm. I have my workout crew that I've come to know mm -hmm. over the last few months, which is a lot of fun. I yeah. feel like I'm getting to know new people yeah. while working out. That's so great. So who knows who else I can recruit That's right. to join I will, me. I will be there. Yeah. <laughs> um, another outing that I think is always fun is the, um, a sports outing, because mm -hmm. as you know, I have three boys, and we always are looking for some sports outing to do. Um, sometimes it gets kind of expensive to right. go to the professional sports. So what we've done is um, we've gone to the local ones, so mm -hmm. like Oakland University nice. or, um, you know, obviously Clarkston sports are really fun. Yeah. So um, we'll go to, if say Michigan's playing a smaller school and mm -hmm. the tickets aren't quite as expensive and right. you still get the full experience and um, you can just go and enjoy it together as a family oh, and the kids, the kids love it. It's and great. that includes the kids. Yep. We did that with my father-in-law, I think it was two years ago we did mm -hmm. a Michigan game and it was during the holidays mm -hmm. so the tickets were actually less expensive mm -hmm. um, and then we went I think there were about seven of us mm -hmm. that went to a basketball game it was a lot of fun yeah that's super fun so, so yeah, yeah so we kind of shared some different ideas um, you know certainly traditional presents are great mm -hmm. but it's nice to have time and uh, space with the people that we love and that we care about so hopefully Definitely. generated some interest and some options that you might want to try with your family yes um, I'm I've got a few that I'm going to actually try with my nieces and some of my family great. so thank you. thank you for having me for it was here. great to be here yeah, it's always good to spend Love time with you suggestions they're yeah. great terrific thanks Lise thanks thank you